Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit. And this is the parable between the wheats and the tares. And I recommend that everyone go read that today. Today. It's in Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 through 30. But I'm only going to read verses 24 through 29. So, and it says, Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, this is Jesus speaking. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field, the field being the world. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So when you bring in forth fruit for the kingdom of God, you know, you're sowing good seed in the world. Expect tares to rise up against you. Expect tares to come to persecute, afflict, and so on and so forth. Right? And now we carrying on. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go up and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. So, the tares and the wheats will grow up together. Together. Now as you elevating as a wheat and the wheats are the children of God. The wheats are the children of God. Those who keep the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But as you growing up, you know, the tears going to grow up with you as well. You know, that's why some of y'all grew up in narcissistic families where you was mentally abused, physically abused, emotionally abused, and you went through hell in that household, right? And you was a wheat, a child, a child of God. But you grew up around tares, the children of the devil. You got to understand, we're definitely contrary one to another. No, as children of God, as the wheats, we are merciful, gentle, kind, empaths, loving, and... The tares, here's a description of the tares. The tares are proud, prideful, disobedient, liars, easily offended, haters of God, and so on and so forth. So, those are some just descriptions to know that you are dealing with a tear. And honestly, most of the world is like that. Most of the people, most of the world are under a strong delusion. That God has put on them because they receive not the love of the truth. And the truth is not in them. But you being the children, the child of God, a wheat. You receive the love of the truth with gladness. And you operating in the fruits of the spirit. In Jesus name. And the parable is so true. It's so true. God is not a man that he shall lie. First of all, look at the picture between a wheat and a tear. They look identical. They look identical. That's why there's going to be many false prophets, many false Christs, many deceivers in the world. That's why you need a gift of discernment. But the tears are, like I said, they're proud. They're proud. They stand up straight. They do not have humility. They are not shamefaced. They operate in ego. But the wheats, you know, we are lowly. We are nothing without our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray. We fast. We die to our flesh daily. We love the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So that's why you got to always look for the fruits of a person before you just entertain them or get into a relationship with them. Amen. And I got some testimonies myself when 
you know, I'd be out here praying over people. Like I said, the parable is so true. Some people be so prideful that even when you try to pray over them, like they literally got their eyes open like this. Like they're not even, they're not bowing their head. They got their eyes straight open, head tilted up. So you can, and they, they ask for a prayer too. The crazy part is they even ask for the prayer. And they just, I might, like, so you pray with your head up like this, looking up. It, it was, it's, it's funny. It makes me laugh. <laughs> it's funny, bro. But I'm like, you gotta come to the Lord in humility, to the Almighty God. Man, I'll be just like, man, I hope God have mercy on your soul. You know, all that pride, man, it's not going to do nothing for you. Pride is nothing in the grave. It's nothing. You know, you got to strip yourself from that pride. Strip, strip yourself from that stubbornness. But I pray this word bless you. I pray you got edified from this video. I pray you learned something today in Jesus' mighty name. Always give glory. Always be joyful in the, in the spirit. Smile. Laugh in Jesus' name. God bless you.